Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everyone. So here we are again. I went away for the weekend, so I feel a little more frazzled than usual. Hi, Ellen. How are you? Good morning, Anita. Hi, Live Designs Company. Unlimited Palette. Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Gabby. How are you? How is everyone doing? Yay. How fun. I'm happy to be painting this morning. I had the weekend off, and when I don't paint for a few days, I always am um, like, I don't know. I miss it. I really do. And I came back, and I have painted. Morning, Sarah. Um, <clears throat> a lot since I've been back, but I'm excited to do this. Hi, Hazel Grove Farm. Hi, Karen. How is everybody? What's new? Are you having a wonderful week so far? Hi, Gail. You know, those these four-day weeks are a mixed... Hi, Ellen, are a mixed blessing because, you know, it's great to have a three-day weekend, but then when you come back on the other end, you have to get five days worth of work done in four. But, you know, that's how it goes. Hi, Greta. I always want to have, like, one of those jobs where, like, when you go to work... Like you just have your work and you get it done. And then like, if you're not there for a day, then the work just waits a day. But you know, my business, it's not at all like that. It all still needs the same amount of stuff needs to get done. No matter if it's a four day week, a three day week, whatever. Anyway, so let me see here. I was going to paint roses. Then I was going to paint a hydrangea. And then I completely switched gears this morning because I was feeling like these colors. So here, let me turn this around. <clears throat> oh, my iPods. And can you guys hear me okay? I have my iPods in. Air, air buds. Air, I call them the wrong thing all the time. I sound like an old lady. But I truly can't remember what they're called. Hi, Michael. How are you? <clears throat> so, I'm going to paint this because I feel like doing greens. Hi, Laura. Oh, I love seeing everybody coming in. Okay. Let me get started here. Grab my brush. Yeah, so you hear me well. Good. Thank you, Anita. Wonderful. Yeah, because sometimes these, these ear earbuds uh, stray me a little bit, and I people can't hear me very well, but I'm glad when they work. I do like um, wearing them because I can have my music on while I'm painting because for some reason this is wonky. No, wait, I have to tape this down. I feel it, it's um, bopping around. We got a lot of shadow going on there, don't I? Let me just tape that because that um, will distract me. That's bopping. Let me turn this if that helps a little bit. Yeah, that helped a little bit, I think so. Now there's still a lot of shadow. I don't know what to do about that. I need to have someone come help me figure out how to film better. So this is going to be a challenging one because these colors in here are kind of pink and they're kind of green. They're kind of in the middle. Um, I love exploring color and, you know, figuring things like that out. Because each thing that you learn about painting, like, adds to what you're able to do going forward. Hi, Joy. How are you? Um, yeah, so what's new with everyone? Did anyone go away for the holiday? We visited, hi Dee, how are you? Um, we visited family in, in New York at the beach and it was really fun, but really tiring. <laughs> no, it was really fun. I shouldn't even say that. It was fabulous. We ate at great restaurants and, um. We had one day on the beach. It was really bad weather. Um, but it was still fun. I think where all these pieces are. Hi, Bonnie. What did Joy say? Great. Oh, great. Thank you and you. Yes, I'm doing very well. Very well. I'm happy. Happy that it's summer. I am always grateful. Like extremely grateful all summer long. I don't care how hot it gets. I do not like cold weather. I don't, I'm cold all winter long. From the time winter begins until the middle of the summer, I'm cold. 
So I am eternally happy right now. I like to go sit on my porch, even though it's stifling hot. Because I just sit there and think, well, at least I'm not cold. Whoops, I got a little bit of orange on my brush. Let me clean that off. Bonnie, I'm going the last week of um, July. It's coming quick. Hi, Gachi, how are you? I have to remember here to watch what everybody's saying to me while I'm painting. There's another tulip down here. Good morning, Martha. I need more coffee. I'm going to order some today, I think, if I get around to it. But you can bring it whenever it suits you. I think that's a good amount there. What color? Oh, this color is um, um, magenta. Good morning, Lonnie. Lonnie and Caroline, happy to be here. Oh, good. Yes, I'm glad you're here, too. Yeah. So I'm getting ready for a show that's in at the end of the month, and it's right about when I go on vacation. So I've got to have all my work done, cataloged, and sent over. And I'm feeling a little panicky about that because it's a lot to do because I don't need, I'm not even entirely sure that I'm happy that I have enough art yet. That's kind of my first kind of legit show, so I've got to be very serious about it, and I certainly am, but I do feel a little um, uneasy about getting ready. I just ordered water-based oil paints. Sounds like an oxymoron. Why not? Yes, it sure does, doesn't it? Yeah, they're very different. I did, um, Windsor Newton sent me a bunch of them to try, and I, I like them, but they're very different to work with, but I think... Um, my one friend, Beth Bath, she does plein air painting and that's all she uses and her paintings are gorgeous. So I think they're worth spending the time to master. Definitely. <clears throat> oh, um, that is, I started this little bit with this brighter green, which I need to put more out in my palette. I love magenta. Yes, they're so pretty together. I actually wanted to do more browns. Maybe I'll try and... No, I don't know that I could skew this to brown. But anyway, I'm using mostly sap green right now. I'm going to have to put more on my palette. So yeah, I was working on the big um, blueberries that I have behind me last last night. And I think it's getting there. My, uh, I showed it to my daughter when she called, and she was like, well, it's not as loose as your other paintings. I'm like, I know. It's hard to maintain looseness in a painting when you go from small to large. Um, I find it very challenging. Thank you. Please, before the weekend, if you can. Yep, you betcha. I will do that, Martha. I'll do it when I get to my desk. Thank you for letting me know that. Have fun with your mom. Is your, are your sisters going also to the beach? I use acrylic. Acrylic set mean, seems very different. Yes, I think all the different um, brands do vary. You do have to kind of play around. Like I get a lot of, a lot of different brands and play with them over time, like not all at once, but, um, so this, and I'll show you, remind me to show you as I do this, but like this is Windsor Newton sap green. And then I have another sap green here that I love that is so dark. It's such an incredibly different color. And I like them both. They kind of both have their own purpose. So I like having both of them, but yeah, different brands, they're different, um, yeah, they don't look like a completely different color. Just some are a lot darker than others are. All four girls, bless mom. I'm sure your mother's happy about that, Martha. We get to all be together. All right, 
I'm just throwing in where some of this paper is that was, these were wrapped in paper. I think I bought these at market and they were wrapped in like kind of that colorful cellophane-ish paper. It says, thank you for sharing your valuable knowledge. I wonder what program gives you the grid for your reference pictures. It is called hashtag grid and it's, that's all it is. You can just look that up and you'll find it and it is perfect. I gridded this before I even, I decided to change my focus this morning and put this in, did the grid on it, like, right before I went live. It's really easy to use, is what I'm saying. There's a little brown down there. Thank you. I always love this stage of a, of a painting. Like, I always think it could, sometimes could just, uh, be finished at this phase. Get a little bit of dark browns in here. <clears throat> I always think it looks like, you know, sheets. I don't even mind when it bleeds like that a little bit. I like how that looks. for my dark areas. It does look like a watercolor. I agree. Watercolors were my first love of art. I used to do watercolors a lot. I still love them. I just don't get my watercolors out that often. But I did just have them out. I'm working on a logo for my cousin that I went to visit. I needed to do some watercolor for her. Your paintings are absolutely stunning. Would you ever consider online? I do. Actually, I do have an online class. It's called Art in Bloom. And it's six different <clears throat> floral oil paintings. And it is going to come out. It'll open up for enrollment in, I think, the beginning of September. So if you are on my email list you will be notified you'll get information about it and if not please go and get yourself on my email list or just send me your email and i can add you if you're not already on there i'd be happy to do that grid hashtag and value study are two artist apps that help oh thanks for saying that you're starting plein air art watercolor class today oh my gosh michael that sounds like fun i would love doing that Love, love, love it. <clears throat> that sounds amazing. I always want to paint plein air. My friend Beth Bath does it, and she and I kind of started doing art. She came from the same background I did, and we met each other, I think, not too long after she moved to Lancaster. And now she is an amazing plein air painter, but that hasn't fit into my life yet. I have to wait. I guess it could pretty soon because Isabel's. My youngest will be going off to college um, this fall, so I think life will get a little a little simpler. I'm hoping. I've been momming for 29 years, trying to fit in all the things. <clears throat> in the midst of that's when I started painting, and I love it. Okay, great. Yes, and it's a wonderful course. It's a six week course. Um, where you do six different floral oil paintings. And I, it's a lot like this, only I go into more depth of, of my materials and um, color mixing and things like that. And the paintings that people um, create are just gorgeous. I love seeing that. Love seeing uh, how much people can learn so quickly. When you do a four by four, is the actual painting really three by three with tape edges? Oh, yeah, I know. It's actually, when I say a painting is four by four, the painting is four by four. If the edges, if it's larger around the outside, then that's not considered part of the painting. Because some people, like when they frame that, they could cut that off. So then it would be four by four. Yeah, so it's literally the... Um, the painting itself, not not the edges. Uh, 
<sighs> could I follow the course in acrylics? Yes. And I need to ask. I know people have done that. Um, but yes. I I don't have an acrylic color list, but I think you can get most of the same colors in acrylic. And I have done, you know, paintings in acrylic. Like every now and then someone will commission a small painting from me and they want it right away. And there's not enough time for an oil painting to dry, so I will do it in acrylic. I also have a membership um, where we do things monthly, and it's it's not just oil painting. We do all different kinds of things. I use it as my excuse to explore art like I always want to do and never have time for. Now I have an excuse to do it. And um, I'm going to do an acrylic in that. And maybe I'll do one of the paintings that I used in my course. I think that would be a really good idea. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. Oh, these are called RNF pigment sticks. So they're just oil paint and stick form. They just help me kind of loosen up my, my painting style. They're just kind of a fun, fun thing to play with. All right. I think think I think I'm ready to mix cutlers <clears throat> so okay let me move you guys over this way sorry for this it is so dark isn't it um let me see if I move this over closer to me is that better now there's a little reflection, but I think it's a little brighter. It's certainly brighter for me to be able to see. All right. And I got some different greens out here, too. I have the cinnabar green light, because there's definitely colors like that in there. And I could mix it, but it's fun to experiment with different colors. Whoops. I always get paint all over myself. <coughs> Last night when I was painting, I dropped a whole bottle of the lav my lavender brush cleaner on the floor and had to clean that all up. At least it wasn't like oil or something. It wasn't too bad, but the lid broke. Now I don't have a lid for it, plus I hardly have any left, so I got to do some shopping. I need to put out more sap green. My sap green's almost gone right there, and I'm doing Viridian. I always want to play with Viridian, and I don't use it very often. Yes, that when I do it on paper, what time is your online class? Hi, Nancy. Um, my art and bloom class, do you mean? That my online, that if you do the class, it just, whenever you want to do it, you can do it. Like it's pre-recorded. And then my, um, my membership group, we do that anytime. Like I, I'm hoping, I'm doing that today at noon, I think. In the summertime, it's hard to fit everything around life. Do you, oh, and I asked your, answered your questions, right? Yes. And that viridian, that's a, I'm going to add some brown to that. See what it looks like. So I need a nice dark for in those dark green areas. And I want to keep it warm in the shadows. The lavender's bad for cats. Okay. Yeah, they don't. They're not down here. They don't come over by my area anyway, but that's good to know, Allie. Thank you. I wonder why. I guess any chemicals are, but. Yeah. My old guys don't venture down into my studio very often. Yeah, it will set. <laughs> yeah, my cats are getting really old. All right. So that looks like good greens. They look like good greens. I'm gonna take this and add some of this bright. Oh, I don't have any of my mixing colors in here along this side. I'm just put some titanium white and maybe some blue over here. <clears throat> I really like 
and maybe I'll try this Portland warm gray. It's such a weird color, but I kind of feel like some of those pinks have that in there for sure. The natural oil, some oils are bad for them. Okay, good, Allie. Thank you for letting me know that. I will tell them they are off limits, although it is all cleaned up. That black right now. Yeah, that bright green is pretty, isn't it? I didn't mix that very well now that I'm looking at it. I'll try and mix my pinks over a little bit and then do some where I mix the pink and green together to kind of get those funky colors in the tulips. All right, I need a sip of my coffee. What's everybody having today, coffee or tea? I'm having my fat cow coffee from my friend Martha. Warm white matter with warm white. And I don't even know if I need pink today. Let's just put that little bit out. nice okay now I want to do maybe a cooler green coffee coffee always Karen says coffee lots of coffee drinkers huh um, um what do I want to do here maybe I should get out that sap green what paper is best for oil Bonnie I use um arches oil paper so it's just like arches watercolor paper but it's for oil this is the other sap green that I have. This is Michael Harding permanent sap green. Coffee to Coke, bad habit, do you? Yes, my husband's a big Coke drinker. Diet Coke, <coughs> all the way. I will probably drink one Coke a year, if that. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna warm this a little bit and see what, I like to work, work on Mixing different greens. See how dark that sap green is? White in there. How cool that is. I do like it. I don't know that that literally looks like a color in nature, but I think it's awfully fun. So we're going to use it. Why not? Because when I paint, I don't want my paintings to look exactly like what I'm painting. I want them to kind of have their own personality. It's something I'm always aiming for. Yeah, I think greens are challenging. I agree. Okay, Kind of looks like that color that's in the background. No, mine is not gray, grainy. That's weird. Mm -mm. I would not say it's grainy at all. Maybe it's just from a different batch or something. I do have a few paints that are grainy, but not this one. I had to lighten that. It was too close to the one behind it. <clears throat> It's really cool. It is really cool. Make a little room for some pink. So the pinks are more in the line of magenta than they are in my transparent um, permanent rose that I love. Um, I might get some. I want to lighten that, but not with white what paper I use. Did I already answer that, Melissa? It's Arches Oil Paper. Just like Arches Watercolor Paper, but there's something when they make the pulp of the paper that they make it so that it's better for oil paint. I read that somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure what or why. But I just read that recently. It's really pretty. I'll lighten that a little bit more. I'm going to 
gonna take that and add a little bit of the green into it. That definitely neutralized that color a lot. Okay. Yes, my mixing surfaces, it's a piece of um, marble from the, uh, like where you go to buy countertops. I just got a sample from them. I think I will mix a light pink. And what was there another color I was thinking about doing? I mean, not a light pink, a bright pink. <laughs> bright, light pink. I thought I was thinking about something else, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was this, this Portland warm gray. Let's do some of that in here. Oh, yep, that's really nice. See how much different a pink looks when you mix it with like a, a different color other than white. I could lighten that a little bit with this. I think that's a great palette. It's really fun. Sorry for the reflection there. Can you see it okay? There, you can see a little bit better. <laughs> Joy, I'm sorry, and I might be mumbling a little bit. The green colors, I used mostly Viridian is kind of in, no, I used Sap Green. I mostly used Sap Green in both piles, really not much Viridian. See how I just, I got that out and still avoided it. It's crazy, right? I gotta change my lighting for you. It was mostly all Sap Green, but I mixed it with different things. That's better, right? Yes. Hi, Sylvina. How are you? All right. I'm using my big brush, and I'm going to go in and do my dark areas. 828. We're kind of right on schedule. Joy, you're welcome. And I really want to try to let some of my bright colors shine through in the end, which is tricky, but doable. My brush is a little big. That's okay, but a larger brush will keep your painting more spontaneous. So I try to get through most of my painting with as large of a brush as I can. Even though, you know, it makes you want to get in there and get the details, you shouldn't, you should keep the big brush. Excuse me. And I generally do work from dark to light. It's the opposite of watercolor where you work from light to dark. Canva paper by Canson is good for both oil and acrylics, but I gesso it first on. Yes, I gesso most everything before I work on it. I, I was saying, I think last week, that I love gessoing like I don't know, it's such a nice, calm part of the painting process. I feel like I sort of develop what I want to do, I think, like, and there's no pressure to for anything to look like anything when you're just painting white onto something. But I love that stage of, of it. Like, I would probably gesso even if I didn't need to, just because I enjoy gessoing. That sounds crazy. But I, it's like mowing the yard. Like, I like to have little bits of time where I'm not, having to be productive or thinking too much but I can feel creative that makes any sense Nancy says I spoke to an artist in Key West and he used as many of the same brands as you I told him to look you up on Insta thank you Nancy thanks very much that's fun your vacation looked amazing I've never been to Key West I've 
really hardly ever even been to Florida. Just Disney, I think. And one trip to Florida for a business trip, but that was years and years and years and years ago. Hundred years at least. Um, my dark darks in here aren't quite dark enough. I'm going to add, make a really dark color and add a little bit of purple in, put back in here. Because it just, it's, I want, like, this part is kind of where your eye needs to go. I need it to pop a little bit, so I have to make this darker around it. Yes, Lonnie, I could be known to dash on my kids and my cat. Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I also love to do sidewalk chalk, anything like that. I have a little neighbor who will be five, and I love doing sidewalk chalk with her. It's like one of my favorite things. I could go on the sidewalk and paint um, donuts and cupcakes all day long. It's sort of the same thing, I think. I can't wait to go back. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll have to put that on my list of places to go. All right, I think I've danced around these greens enough. Let me clean my brush off. <clears throat> I'm going with some of my dark. Oh. Vacation times are the best. I did take a lot of pictures this weekend when I was away, which is always good. And that va that uh, annoying vacation person who has to stop and take photos constantly. But I do it everywhere I go, <clears throat> not only on vacation. <coughs> I do it. I most of my pictures, I think that I, my photographs that I get are from the walks I take every day. So where's everybody from? Do you want to say where you're from? <clears throat> Karen's from Indiana, Georgia, Ohio. Ontario, Australia. What time is it in Australia? Aren't you the whole opposite of us here? Australia, Connecticut. I always keep my brushes in turpentine. Do you use anything different to clean them? Pennsylvania, me too. Hong Kong, well, New York. I use, Ellie, I might not have been too far away from you this weekend when I was in Rockaway. I put my paints, when I'm finished, I just put them in Murphy's Oil Soap to soak, and then I clean them when I have time. So, no, I don't use turpentine. I don't like turpentine. South Carolina, Canada. India. What time is it in India? Mississippi Gulf Coast. I think someone I know is moving to Mississippi, Nova Scotia, Canada, 10.34 p.m. Oh, that's not too bad. Late night. You're ready to rest when I'm ready to start my day. Maryland. Love Maryland. My son just bought a house in Baltimore. Nancy's right. You are right around the corner. Alabama. Nancy, do you still live in that same house? I don't know if you moved or not. North Carolina, six in the evening. This, or is it, I, oh, see, I am missing the bottom of that. I felt like it, it was, it was like too, 
too long. And it is because I'm missing the bottom of my photo. Oh, <clears throat> oh, D, I, so I soak them in Murphy's oil soap just in a thing in my, in my, um, in my wash tank or what was it called? My, uh, utility sink. And then when I'm ready to wash them, here's what I use. I use this. It's, um, it's the same as that Chelsea classical liquid, but it's just, in, it's just so, bar of soap. And let me see if I can open this up. Oh, here it is. So it's just a bar of soap. And I just get my brush wet and I just squish it around on there and clean out my brush until it's till it's clean. So I feel like it's not as bad as like using turpentine or something for 24 years. Gosh, Nancy. Yeah, I've been in my house for 29. So you moved there 24 years ago. Yeah, that makes sense because the kids were little. So Nancy's, Nancy's son and my son Alex played together when they were little. Um... She says, I'm working on a sunflower larger painting stuck on the background color. What do you all recommend? Hmm. Well, without seeing it, um, a lot of times when you're working on something like that, a complementary color can work really nicely. So like purple, like a, a pale shade of purple, but it really all depends on what's happening in your painting. I hate solvents too, D. Me too. D, have you been painting a lot? I haven't seen too many posts from you. I was cleaning out my office and I found my painting that I bought from you and I haven't um, gotten it framed yet, so I need to go do that. I need to go to the framer anyway pretty soon to get my paintings framed for the show that I'm in. So I think I'm going to take the painting that, I, that you painted and get it framed. Yeah, Alex is, my son is 29. So, yeah, we moved here when he was one year old. And the house that we live in was our, was my parents' very good friend's house. So we're the, only the second owners, and the house was built in, like, 1934, I think, which I think is pretty cool. It's a nice old house with a slate roof. But I really, I'm torn because I would really love to have a real studio. So there are times when I think about moving because that sure would be nice. Um, to have a studio. You would all be able to see better if I had better lighting in a bigger studio. Life has gotten in the way since February. Oh, good, D. I'm glad you're getting back to it. Thank you, Ellen. <clears throat> yes, that place where the workshop is going to be does look gorgeous. I'm excited to see it. Very excited for that to come. Yeah, so I'm doing a workshop in K Connecticut. In, um, it's in <laughs> October. You can tell I'm not thinking very well this morning. It's in October, and we're going to paint... Uh, New England in the fall is what the theme is going to be. <clears throat> so there's information on my website. Um, I don't know what it's under, maybe upcoming or something like that, if anybody wants to know more. Or you can write to me if you have any questions, if anyone is interested in learning more about it. <coughs> but it's at a beautiful like bed and breakfast in, in Connecticut. And um, yeah, we're going to go there and paint for four days straight. Never done that. I've never done a longer form workshop like that, but I know I'll enjoy it. So I love doing workshops. That's one of my favorite things. I'm excited to kind of get back to that in life again. That's yeah, I enjoy teaching, but I love being with people and creating art, you know, with people. I feel like I work in a bubble of my own all the time something very fun about being together with other people and being creative I think it's more creative okay i soon go to light colors anna ruth she was fabulous wasn't she nancy that's who lived in my house paul and anna ruth lived here 
Anna Ruth's mother built the house for her when she got married, I think. <clears throat> Color Splash on Canvas says, Kim, your brushwork helps me a lot. Until I, till now, I didn't notice it, but when I painted a yellow flower, I realized. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for such wonderful demos. You're welcome. Bonnie says, good and reasonable framer, Wes Charl Charlton Frame, owned by husband and wife, who are very helpful and pack mature as well. Oh, that's good to know. I should write that down. I have a local framer here. I have to go see her today. They have boxwood shrubs and spiral shape out front. You need to do one in New Hope. Well, Michael, the bummer is that my friend who lives in New Hope just sold his house just like a week ago. So I don't know where he's going. He's the one that filmed my friend who had the house where I did the workshops in New Hope. He's the one that filmed my Art in Bloom course for me. And it's amazing. But yeah, he just sold it. So I don't know where he's headed. So if it's somewhere fun, that's where we will do the next workshop. Maybe, maybe like Laguna Beach or something like that. An inspiring art group. I would love information on how to get more defined brush strokes. Okay, good. I love that kind of input for my group. Um, yeah, I have to think about how you get more, <laughs> how I get more defined brush strokes. I think with the brush strokes, it's so much just about being intentional and not, and I think that's why I'm having trouble with like the big painting behind me because it's hard not to. I know D wasn't his property amazing. So, so pretty. Yes, he's moving on to the next fun thing. Makes me sad. But he always goes from one amazing place to another. So wherever the next one will be, will be fabulous too. But it might not be good for filming workshops. I don't know. But it may be better. That was a perfect place to have a workshop and to film a, a, a workshop too. Yeah, so he's getting a place in Laguna Beach, I think, for a little bit and then see what's next. Oops. All right. What am I doing here? This needs to go darker back here. What time is it? 8.43. I need to be paying attention to the time. Okay, I can do some lights. Yeah, I was hoping to have another workshop there. <laughs> and even more fun, I think my daughter's soon going to get married. I thought a wedding would be beautiful too, but just wasn't meant to be. I would like learning more about brush strokes and how you keep your brush so clean. I get too much paint on my brush. Okay, too much. You, your paint gets muddy. Is that what you mean? The paint on your brush gets muddy? Or you have too much paint on your brush? And like I'm wiping my brush constantly. Like I have my paper towel in my hand. And I'm wiping it off. That's kind of how I keep it clean. But yes, I need to think about how those intentional, and the brush strokes really about like, if I put my brush down, I'm thinking about that shape right here that I wanna make. So it's up a little bit here and then it comes down. So I try to make that shape with my stroke. Learning more about brush strokes. Oh, some, did someone just message me? <coughs> I think one of you guys just messaged me. I'll look at that later. So the more intentional your brush stroke is, the better it turns out. And like I lift up a little bit like where I want it to maybe let the back, the stuff behind it blend in. No, that's what I tell you not to do. I'm going back in and kind of working back into it, but I want this edge there. Now I have paint all the way, oh, oh, I see. You do wipe it off it, okay. That's good information. 
yes, I think we could work on that. And inspiring art, I'll put that on my list. It's fun. I have so many ideas of things that I want to do. Not enough days in the year. But you just start and dive in, right? Water mixable. Oh, good, Chris. I'm glad you're enjoying them. They're, I guess, a lot healthier, right, to use. I think I need even lighter... Limited colors available, so challenge. More. <coughs> there might be some colors that are hard to create with the water mixable oils, but for the most part, like I feel like I could do most any painting with a very limited palette. That's something else I think would be fun to do in our group too, is to only have like, you know, whatever, six colors and do a full painting and try and mix all the colors. That's a great way to learn. <clears throat> Sorry that my throat's sicky today. <coughs> 47. Okay, I need more lights. I need to put out a little bit more of my light pink color. I'm running short on it. Now, I love how, I don't know if you can see in there, like a lot of my like under stuff, under colors are showing in there, and I love that. Like I want that to stay part of it. I generally try not to have any of my um, grid show through from underneath, but sometimes it does, and I don't even stress over it if it does. I just leave it. I don't thin water mixable oils with water. Use Gamblin gel or painting medium. Yes, I have some. They When they sent me them to demo, they sent me that. Yeah, so it feels a lot like an oil kind of substance, doesn't it, that you mix it with? <clears throat> I'm thinking about the shape of this petal here. It's kind of got some waves going on there. Now that line is a little extreme, so I'll just go back and soften it a little bit. And then this could be a little darker. Nancy, it's my next show is at Red Raven Art Gallery downtown, and it's the first Friday in August. So if you're around, I would love it if you come. I'd love to see you. Yeah, I love that. It's my favorite gallery here in Lancaster. Oh, I like, see, I got a little bit of purple in there. I don't know where that came from. I'm going to add a little bit more of that. <clears throat> Ooh, that's fun. Ooh. You know, sometimes that's like one of those happy accidents. Like I did that little bit and the purple showed through and I liked it. So I added more to it. That's nice too. Do a few more pinks. What time is it? 8.50. I'm good. I'm good. It's hard. I think even harder than talking and painting and paying attention to all the things, the harder thing for me is paying attention to the time. Because that's not something I do that much when I'm painting. I try not to care what time it is. Although that's not true. I probably always care what time it is. There's always the next thing to work on. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
starting to pop. Yes, those light colors make a big difference. Now I need to do some light greens and then maybe even some lighter pinks, but I'm not sure. Um, 51, nope, I'm good, so. Kind of just dancing around, adding some of this kind of teal color. It's really pretty. All right, and then my lighter greens. Yeah, and I'm kind of holding my breath now. When I'm doing these parts of it, I stop talking because I have to think so hard about what I'm doing. Like it's not as spontaneous at this point. It's a little more thoughtful. Which is harder to paint, tulips or peonies? I found tulips to be more complicated. Thanks for all your videos. They really teach a lot. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, I would say, I don't think that either are hard to paint, but I peonies are my favorite. Um, so they're probably the easiest for me to paint. I don't know, just because I love them. I need a little brush to do. There's a fun little, do I have a little brush? My brushes, little brushes are terrible right now. I need some new ones. I'm going to do this little. It's a fun little spot there, and I need a smaller brush for a couple of these little light areas. <clears throat> right here. Where else do I need light? Light lights right in here. You see any other areas that I need? I got Rosemary and Company set for my birthday. Oh my gosh, they're a game changer. Yes, they're so wonderful. Yeah, they are a game changer. That's a good way of putting it. Oh, here's another little, little sexy spot right here. Yeah, saving those lights for the end is important and difficult to do, I'd say. Because I always want to go in there and put them in in advance, but then it really gets, um, I don't know what it gets. It doesn't work to do that. Where else do I have dark, dark? Is there anything showing through that I shouldn't? Oh, I see a place I should do some lights. What do I have? 55. I'm good. <clears throat> what do I, I here I'm doing this I don't even know why I have one on my brush isn't that crazy I had to look at the end of my brush to see if I had green on there or red
<clears throat> a clip short. Yes, those you got the full set, Carolyn. Oh, so envious. I want that set. I only still I have a lot of two sizes, but I would love to get that full set. It's definitely something I need to treat myself to one of these days. Okay, and now, as you see what I'm doing, I am fussing at my painting. Now I need to push this back right here, and I need to stop because I am going in and adding brush strokes that aren't doing anything for the painting. And that is kind of universally how I decide. So I am going to sign it. It's like when I, I feel like I'm like mindlessly doing things without being intentional and that's when it's time to stop. So there it is. Let's see if I can close in. Like I love the, like the juicy underpainting showing through in there. Let's, and fun pops of color. And I don't have time to pull the tape off, so I'll have to do that afterwards. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. It was fun as all Wednesdays are and I will be here again next week I'll do it again Carolyn the whole set and it came fast just maybe I'll just treat myself to that I would love to do that I certainly use them enough um so yes if you want to be on my email list let me know for to know when art and bloom begins and what else do I want to say I will put this on my YouTube channel if you go on YouTube be sure to watch it and like like it and add a comment or whatever that helps my YouTubing and I'll load it onto my website too so I'll hopefully get that done finished today if I can. So thanks for coming, you guys. It's always fun hanging out with all of you. I feel like you're here with me in, in my studio. Maybe one of these days we'll actually be able to do that, right? And if you want information on anything, just let me know. Feel free to ask. So And share. You know, let me see. Show me what you're painting. I love to see that too. So bye, guys. I hope you all have a fabulous day, and we'll do this again next week. See you soon.